With just under 15 days to go on our season, it is coming to a close, and let's be real, it's been a lot of drama and a lot of fighting, but it is coming to a close, and in this video, I'm going to break down everything that's happened, so stick around, let's get it. Welcome back to CO Gaming, and as we said in the intro, we're going to break down kind of how this season has gone in an aspect of are we winning, are we losing, what is actually happening in this season on SS1-13. So let's just kind of jump right into this. So under 15 days to go, and things have not actually went as, as well as most had hoped. Uh, we had a really big alliance moving into this season. And we were playing with, of course, three other servers. Uh, inside our division was server 38, 37, 42, and 43, with us being 38. And we really didn't have any allies from any of the other servers. It started out with one smaller alliance that we had, but ended up breaking apart before we went into zone 2. Uh, in the aspect of things, the main groups from our alliance was us as GDZ and a group called War, which actually no longer exists anymore, but we'll kind of get into that here shortly. So the main group was us. We were number one as GDZ. War was technically number two in power to start the season, and WA was three to start the season, and then it kind of just trickled down as things went. So that's how the season started. It was pretty much WA and all the other servers versus us as GDZ and War. Uh, so pretty much how this went is we get into Zone 2. We fight them a little bit, helping more out. Uh, a lot of the GDZ people had went up and helped them fight in uh, Sephrostia, or not Sephrostia, but up here in Nivola. And things went really well as we were fighting them there. We pretty much kind of evenly exchanged for the most part. A lot of good fighting just the way it went. Uh, but where it really gets interesting is when we got into a guru and Hollandale. So I think the initial ideal for how this was going to actually go was not very well thought out because we hard pushed a guru and made extremely good progress there we was pretty much winning the area and then it became a five on one fight so to speak to the point to where we ended up getting pretty much pushed out of a guru and ended up going back to hollandale to where wa had completely pretty much pulled out and that was just that so going into basically the last zone we were in hollandale with GDZ and War and WM, which was kind of a side alliance group that we had, and everybody else was coming from everywhere else. So it was pretty much four alliances versus eight. Absolutely insane, which, of course, as you can tell, we are losing. They have taken the dragon. They are going to win. We have lost. There's absolutely no way we can come back from this, but... That's pretty much how this season has went to a point. So what has happened now, as I said, war was a group, but they are not anymore. So they have officially, without any knowledge for anybody else, just one day decided, hey, we're going to go ahead and jump to WA. They called a pretty much stop fighting and... Now that's where they're all at. They are all in WA. Apparently they are going with them. Moving forward, they're going to server migrate. We all know how this works. But which is why they are 4.6 million power. And we are 3.8 because everybody just went there. And then now this group right here used to actually be war. And WM went ahead and took that one over. And that's how that kind of all played out. So, pretty much, at the end of the day, it was GDZ versus all. When it all boils down to it, they're going to collect an easy win because I figure 
WA will eventually take the dragon. If they don't, it really would just make no sense. But then again, if you got to make a sacrifice to get eight alliances to play with you, then maybe you give the dragon to somebody else. Who really knows? It's not not really my place to really care. Uh, either way it goes, it turned out to be everybody versus GDZ, which it is what it is. We fought hard. We never actually quit. Technically, we're still fighting. We still fight pretty much every day somewhere. And who knows? We might just decide to push for the hell of it. Who really cares? Season's over. Nothing lost. Nothing gained. Just how it goes. But in lame's terms, that's pretty much how this season went. Uh, it, you know, it's a game in, in most aspects. But... Uh, maybe at some point in kind of the near future in the next few days, I'll get some interviews with a few people that are actually from the server that really was more in the leadership factor of this season. Uh, I was actually just recently asked to be an R4 moving into next season with the group that I'm in. Uh, but I can, I can get the leader and a few other ones to kind of do some interviews and get more of a, a breakdown for what really was going on in these chats, because unless you're there, you truly just don't know how things went with diplomacy and leader conversations. Uh, you get kind of get a bird's eye view of thinking you know what's happening, but you really don't know unless you're there. Of course, we all know this. Anybody that's ever played a strategy game like this and has really put the time into it and been a leader, you know, me and my buddy, we, we've we led in LOTR for a long time until we switched to this game. And then we, you know, we, you know, decided to take a step back and try not to really be leaders. But it's hard sometimes setting on the back line because you don't have that information. So you don't know everything that's happened. And, you know, of course, my boy Deuce, you know, best Diplo I've ever played with in my life. And thankfully, he's going to be doing a lot of the Diplo, replacing the trash Diplo we had before. And I think GDZ is going to be on the up. There's a lot of big things coming. Not going to disclose them quite yet. I will drop a video towards the last few days of this season to really bombshell exactly what we're doing and what we got planned. So everybody that does follow us can see what we're doing. And hey, maybe, you, maybe you're lucky and you're in our division next season. And we get a chance to play with you or against you. Either way, we're looking to have a lot of fun and get rid of all the drama so to all the drama naysayers and all the backstabbers that's actually on our current server have fun doing you but gdz is going to do us and at the end of the day that's all that matters because that's who we are but that is my wrap up this has been a fun video to do if you like this type of content and there's going to be plenty more coming from this and a lot of live streams as soon as we get into the next season so like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. It greatly helps me out. Until next time, see you out.